So here we are on election week, 2024 U.S. elections. And I'd just like to offer the following message as it relates to people active in the markets. I think one of the most challenging things here this week and potentially for weeks to come will be to keep uh, political biases in our heads uh, out of uh, the way of us turning a profit. And so what I mean by that, it's, it's quite challenging for, for many people, and it is challenging, to, to keep our political beliefs. Maybe we, we might be rooting for one candidate or another or none of them, right? And so it's quite challenging to keep those biases in the back of our heads, maybe even, uh, from us to being uh, completely open to an outcome as it relates to the market, right? And that's really, at the end of the day, that's why we're, we're all in the markets for, is to make money. And so you could envision a situation where uh, a certain outcome happens, X or Y candidate wins, and one thus in the back of uh, the mind might say, okay, the market should be reacting this way, and then very quickly jumping those conclusions and making bets in that direction. But what if the market doesn't react that way and goes the opposite direction? And one might still just hold on that I believe, even though one is completely wrong and ends up losing a lot more money than possible, than, than is needed. So I think we're going to have really have to let uh, politics, at least, again, this is purely about making money here. This is not about, not about politics per se in, 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 in any way. It's just about making sure we're open-minded to outcomes either to the upside in markets or to the downside and, uh, and, uh, and, and not keep any political biases from, uh, from, uh, for, for, from making money for us. So, Anyway, hope it helps. Have a good start to the week. And we'll see you again soon.